Berlin's Gallery Keudel is showing a selection of Jim Raketa's latest photos. Raketa has photographed everyone who's anyone in German film. And many of those featured in his portraits have come to see the result. Raketa knows almost every single one personally, and so he had no trouble getting German cinema celebrities on board. Whenever Jim photographs anyone, and I've known him for many years, if he gets a commission with a special remit, or if you approach him privately, then there are already no holds barred. Jim is really very, very quick. It's not that he's impatient, but he knows relatively quickly when he's got it in the can. And then you have the rest of the time to chat. And with Jim, that's a real pleasure. Many actors and actresses got involved, including Nina Hoss and Matthias Habich, Martina Gedeck, and Thomas Kretschmann. And each one of them has brought along a prop from their best-known film. Sebastian Koch chose the typewriter from the lives of others. It was my intention to show that in the case of actors and directors, that their choice of material says the most about their personalities. If an actor or director wants to be nice, or wants to film light-hearted comedies, or wants to do something deep, I think that says more about their character than anything else. It has a much greater influence over their lives, what they do, and how they go about doing it. Jim Raketa is usually associated with black and white portraits, usually of celebrities. He trained as a press photographer, and he's been in the business now for over four decades. But he first made his name with pictures not of actors, but of movers and shakers in the Berlin music scene between 1977 and 1987. It's easier to photograph a musician than an actor. Whether or not they want to, actors are always looking for a role and not necessarily showing their real character, whereas a musician is always promoting his personal life as part of his identity. Actors are much more role conscious. All the actors in his photographs, from Ulrich Tukor to Armin Müller-Stahl, are playing a role. Sometimes it's obvious what it is. Hannah Shigula is Lily Malen, and Hannah Herzsprung is the promising young pianist she played in the film Four Minutes. I find it very exciting when the whole film industry shows what it's capable of, the times when you can see who's who. The exhibition opened on the eve of the opening of the Berlin Film Festival. It's the first party of many during the festival. Everyone is happy to get an invitation from Jim Rakete. I can imagine that his profession is about establishing some kind of connection to people, the people he wants to photograph. That's one of the reasons why Jim is very open and warm-hearted. In the summer, the exhibition will move to the Film Museum in Frankfurt. By then, it will include more than 100 pictures. <laughs> 